Good morning. There are some problems in the Chinese government bond market. The 10-year Chinese government bond yield jumped by 25 basis points to 3.35%. So if the Chinese government wants to uh, get uh, financing for a duration of 10 years, they have to pay 3.35%. Yields are jumping because of the Federal Reserve that just hiked rates in the past week. And uh, there is some yuan weakness, or not some, but uh, a lot of yuan weakness. The renminbi, the Chinese currency, is going down versus the US dollar, which is quite strong recently. And that might lead us to a situation in the future where Donald Trump might um, point the finger towards Beijing and say they are manipulating their currency. If he does that, there might be um, some special... Um, a special uh, treatment of Chinese goods that are imported to the US or the uh, trade war, which is something that the media is reporting about, is something that might be a result of, the, of any continued uh, renminbi weakness. Then there is also low liquidity in Chinese government, government bonds and there are also concerns about future growth that might result from that. When it comes to the environment in China, there was a weekend of smog in Beijing. The highest smog alert, the government in Beijing actually closed 1,200 factories, at least uh, told them they should um, go down with their production to somewhat um, control that smog, which is a fight which is not easily won because um, the, the, the original problem is in Beijing that there are 21 million house, uh, people living there and they have got um, all heating units which are not really environmentally friendly um, to say the least because they use coal and fire up their coal and there are no filters whatsoever and that is actually creating the, uh, the smog problems there. Saudi Arabia is also looking to the future. They will um, activate the first wind turbine to, together with uh, General Electric and Saudi Aramco. That will be the 17th of January. 2.75 megawatts of energy production from that wind turbine. They are also looking into the future and also looking into the future of Saudi Aramco, which should be brought to the exchanges in an initial public offering in the year 2018. And of course, if you've got renewables, that would be more friendly for global investors. And actually, that wind turbine will help um, save 18,600 barrels of oil equivalent a year. Now that we've got a rising price of oil, the fracking industry in the United States is looking better again. Those that are in a Chapter 11 bankruptcy uh, proceedings, it might be too late for them to be rescued by rising oil prices. But those that were just about to go into Chapter 11 and anybody who fares better than that could really profit from rising oil prices. In the United States, 510 rigs are actively producing oil. That is the highest number since, the, since January. It's the seventh week in a row with increases. 26 of the past 29 weeks production or the, the number of active oil rigs has been going up by 194 rigs. In 2017 markets expect or some analysts expect that the number will go up from 510 to 723 in 2018 to 933 and then we will be almost there where we have been in year 2005 where there have been 978 active risk, uh, risks in the United States. So that is an active risk for the oil markets and for the rally that we have right now. The rally might continue but midterm to long term there will be the United States coming online with more fracking oil production and that in itself is somewhat self-defeating or the self-defeating nature of that oil rally that we have right now 